Hello! You are watching the Teller training video for the RAD menu overview. The RAD menu for ASP.NET AJAX is a flexible and customizable menu control. In this video, you'll learn to build and manipulate the menu, you'll learn how to customize it with images and skins, you'll learn to create templates for your menu items, and modify those menu items dynamically in code. During this video, there may be code examples written in either Visual Basic or C Sharp. However, the concepts are the same and code is provided for you in both languages. Let's begin by creating a new website. File, New Website. And in here, you want the ASP.NET AJAX enabled website. The reason for that is the AJAX enabled website has a script manager that allows us to use the AJAX enabled controls. And we're going to use Visual Basic for this one. Now if we go to our design view, There's the script manager, and we just need to go grab a rad menu and drag it and drop it onto our form. Now our rad menu is here. It's a non-visible control right now because it's not configured with any items. Let's take a look at the properties of the RAD menu. First we have the accessibility keys, which is where you would set a hotkey and a tab order for the control. And the background color, border color, border style. Let's take a look at these. Set it double, how about that? The CSS class is where you can set a custom style and the font and the for color, which is actually the color of the text, and the skin. You can select a skin here, but there's a different way of selecting a skin where you get a preview of what it looks like, and we'll take a look at that. In the behavior properties, there's a neat property called click to open, and this is important because by default, the menu items in a web page, you hover over them and it expands the submenu. If you click this to true, then it makes it so you have to click the menu item to expand it. And we have our client side events. In here you can specify a JavaScript function that will fire when these events happen, such as a menu item being clicked. Here under data is where you can specify a data source for your menu that will generate all the menu items from a data source. And the data field ID and parent ID is what you can use to make that a hierarchical structure for the data. Now that we've taken a look at the basic properties of the RAD menu, let's go ahead and look at building the RAD menu. So up here, this tiny little tag is called the Smart Tag. If you click on it, it opens up this dialog, and we want to pick Build Rad Menu. In this dialog, we have basic functionality where you can add root and child menu items, delete an item, you can indent or unindent an item, or move it up and down. As an example, let's make a file menu, and then we can add a child to it. And another child, but this child I made a sub-menu item of new, and that's not really what I want, so I'm going to unindent open. There, that's a great example. 
I'm going to create some more menu items here. Well, that looks nice. Now, let's take a look at the properties of the rad menu items. These menu items have many of the same properties as the rad menu, like the accessibility and appearance properties, though there are a few more things here. We still have the background color and the four color, but there are some new properties in here having to do with images, the image URL and hovered image URL, expanded image URL, and we're going to use some of those in just a moment. There's also the behavior. is separator. This is an interesting one. and Actually, we're going to create one right now. I'm going to add a menu item here and move it between open and save. And I'm going to clear the text. And for this item, I'm going to change is separator to true. And that will create a separator in that menu. We also have the Navigate URL property. And you can see I've made a links menu here with some website names on them. What you can do is create a URL and when you click on that menu item it will actually open up that URL in your default browser. The target you can change to set the style of the browser will open. The most common of these is top, which replaces what is currently in the browser with the URL's target, and blank, which opens the URL in a new browser or tab. I've gone ahead and filled out the other two of these, and let's click OK. And before we take a look at this, the property in here in the smart tag skin can be viewed here, as I mentioned before, in a way that we can preview what they look like. So if I drop that down, we can see all the different skins available with a little bit of a preview. I'm going to go ahead and click one called Web 2.0. and that's going to create a real slick looking menu and let's run it and take a look. This debug window pops up. You can just click OK. And this is what it looks like in our browser. So there's the separator. Here are our links. If I go to one, it should take us to that website. And this last one here, which we'll use later. Let's close this. And I talked about adding images to the menu items. If we look at the file menu in Visual Studio, you'll see that menu items commonly have icons associated with them. That can give it a more polished and interactive look. So we're going to do that here. But we don't have any images in our project yet, so we're going to have to add those to our project. I'll open up a Windows Explorer and go to my project directory, and I have an images folder that I've already placed here. We're going to copy this folder. and paste it into our project. But that's not enough. Even though we've pasted it into our project folder, Visual Studio's project doesn't know about it yet. So we'll open the Solution Explorer view and drag that images folder into our project. Now that's available to us. 
we can close this. And let's go back in to our build rad menu. In our image URL property, I'm going to reference the images relatively by using dot forward slash images and new. Now, do the same thing here. and here and on search we're going to add that image called search.gif now this is actually an animated gif file and the menu items handle those just as well as static images let's click OK and the next thing I'm going to show you is something really nifty. The menu items actually support creating a whole template for an item. Now, a template is simply an area that contains many controls. So clicking on Edit Templates at the bottom of the menu will change the mode of the Smart Tag so that you can edit templates which template to edit is chosen with this drop-down. We'll click Change Text Color and this area here is where we edit the template. I'm going to expand the toolbox and drop a label on there and then edit the label property text to say choose a color. and we're going to drop another control on here the rad color picker drop that right in there and that's about all we're going to do here to end template editing we click this in template editing link and it puts us back on the normal red menu tasks mode. There's one last thing we need to do here. That template we just created is really wide and I know it won't fit inside the normal bounds of a menu item so I'm going to change the width of the change text color menu item to 300. Otherwise when we display it it might look squished around. Let's let, give that a little look. Now we have icons for new open save. We have an animated icon for search. And we have a template for our choose a color item. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to manipulate the menu in server side code. The first thing we need to do is double click on the form to open up the page load event. In this example, I'm simply going to create a help menu item with an about sub menu item and add it to our rad menu. Since this is a page load event, the first thing I want to do is check for the post back. The reason for that is we only want to add these menu items to our RAD menu once, the first time the page is loaded. Next, let's create our RAD menu item. We'll set the text 
to help and create another menu item. That's easy enough. Now, now item 2 needs to be a submenu item of item 1. We do this by accessing item 1's items array and say add item 2. Now, we need to then add these menu items to our rad menu. Rad menu one dot items same thing add item one. Let's give that a try. Now we have a help menu item with an about submenu item. This concludes our Telerik training video on the RAD menu overview. In this video, you've learned how to build and manipulate a menu and customize it to your liking. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.